There's this thing WhatsApp does where it doesn't allow you to open the WhatsApp web on multiple tabs. So for example, I have WhatsApp open on this tab. If I try to open a new tab now and open WhatsApp there, while this is loading, if I go back to the previous tab, you can see it now, sorry, this is in Dutch. You can see it now says WhatsApp is open in another window. Click use here to use WhatsApp in this window. The question now is how does WhatsApp know that you have opened it on multiple tabs? And there are probably various ways that WhatsApp does does this maybe it uses local storage or some window storage or backend whatever it is but one way that you can achieve something like this is by using the broadcast channel api in javascript so the broadcast channel api allows basic communication between browsing context that is windows tabs frames or iframes and workers on the same origin so if you have my website.com on one tab and my website.com on another tab these two tabs can communicate using this broadcast channel api and i'm going to be showing you how that works in my whatsapp ui clone here so we have this here and if i try to open it on another tab we want to get a similar warning that tells us you cannot use this on multiple tabs so here is the code i have i have my simple html here and my css here so here i have this warning element and currently this is hidden. So my CSS I have hidden here, which is display none. And when it is visible, we have display block. We also have the WhatsApp container. And when the WhatsApp container is hidden, we have display none. So in this JavaScript part here, I get the warning element and then I get the WhatsApp container element. So first let's create our broadcast channel. I'm going to have BC as the variable and then I have new broadcast channel and then I pass the name of this channel. I'm just going to pass chats. You can pass any name you want. Now that we have created an instance of this channel, we can now send a message. So I can do bc.post message, put something like new tab. So the way this would work is currently I have this UI. Currently this UI cannot post any message because we have just one instance. But if I should open this on another tab, this second tab here, this second tab will now post a message to the existing tabs. So this post message is only called when there is more than one instance. And how can we see or do something with that message? Well, we can use the on message events. So here we receive the events and then let's just do console log events.data. The data property holds the message that was sent. Actually, I can just put this on the right here so we can see the difference in one view so i have my chart here we have just one instance on the origin localhost 3000 now when i come to this right part and i put localhost 3000 now by opening this new tab we have the new instance of our localhost 3000 origin so this tab here sends a message to the existing tab and so here we have new tab this one doesn't get the new tab because this is the one that triggered the post message Okay, so now that we're able to send a message from here to here, how can we send a message from here back to here? Well, this is where we can use different messages. So when we say post message new tab, this is coming from a new tab that has been created to the existing tabs. But then here, when we listen to this message, we can now send another message. So here I'm going to say if events.data is equal to new tab then i'll just console log a new tab has been created so this is coming from the new tab to other tabs then here i can say if event data tab exists which i'm going to send in this point here after this console log i can call bc.post message again and here i'm going to pass tab exists so now if the event data is tab exists previous tab informs new tab just something like that so how this works is this new tab is created right and this new tab is going to post a message to the existing tab this existing tab will now send a message to other tabs and since this is part of the other tabs this would also get that message so let me start again by going to google.com so refresh we have just one tab no message sent. Now when we open localhost 3000, this sends a message to the existing tabs, which is this one. So here we have a new tab has been created, but then we also call bc.post message tab exists. So this tab is now going to send a message to the existing tabs, which is also this one. 
and then here since it sends a message with tab exists and we check that condition here we now have previous tab informs new tab okay now that we have our logic like this we can say that when a new tab has been created we call bc post message tab exists then in this place here this is where we can now show our warning so for this warning element i'm going to call class lists dot add the hidden class then for the whatsapp container element i'm also going to add the hidden class so if we refresh we have just one tab now when we open localhost 3000 now we have a new tab has been created and this is not showing anything this should not be hidden this should be visible if i refresh this now you can see we have this warning that says you cannot open this ui or multiple tabs because by opening this new tab a message is sent here and this now sends a message back to inform this tab that hey a tab already exists but then there is a slight problem here now if i should refresh this left tab you're going to see we get the same warning why does this happen well because this tab now exists if you refresh this tab then it appears that this is now the new tab so this previous tab on the right will tell the left tab that hey you shouldn't open so basically we cannot even view whatsapp anymore because the right if you refresh will tell you you cannot open and the left if you refresh is also going to tell you you cannot open so how do you fix this well here when you show the warning element and you hide the whatsapp container then on this particular tab you can now close the broadcast channel by closing the broadcast channel other tabs would not see this particular tab as an existing tab so that way other tabs can work just fine so if i come to the left here now and refresh we have this if i come to the right and refresh we have you cannot open this ui on multiple tabs because this tab has now been closed after this warning is shown then this left tab can open just fine because it doesn't seem that there are any other tabs or any other broadcast channels open and so we can replicate these things for multiple tabs i'm just going to separate this here we have the tab that works fine here we have this and if i should open this on a new tab we have you cannot open this on even five tabs all of them show that you cannot open this on multiple tabs but you can still open it fine here now if i should close this tab and come here if i refresh this you can see that this one now opens because we have just one tab existing but if you refresh these other ones you still get you cannot open this ui on multiple tabs so this way we're able to ensure that this origin localhost 3000 for whatever business reason or business logic can only open on one tab in the browser at a time i hope that this shows you how the broadcast channel allows you to send messages between multiple tabs and you can use it for this particular reason or you can use it for other reasons to allow different tabs to communicate basically this channel allows multiple tabs to communicate but one way you can use that communication is to ensure that only one tab is showing the ui at a time well, i hope this helps if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe for more javascript videos like this